The jaw. I want to talk to you guys about the jaw. The jaw, and we want the least, it's called the mandible. In the mandible, we want the least amount of movement out of the mandible or the jaw as possible. So if I sing, you know, then you lady, and you are my man, whenever you reach for me. Do you notice how little movement there is in my jaw? I'm really not, because I am your lady. And now, by the way, that part of what I just did, I want you to watch the vocal tract shaping uh, portion of, I think it's in either volume two or three, I forget. But I want you to watch that because that's a different animal. But if you notice, I'm like a ventriloquist. Because I am your lady, and you are my man. Whenever you reach for me, I'll do all that I can. Because I want you to get the sensation that the mechanics of this is keeping the throat itself open, and it's not all this jaw mode. <laughs> Um, uh, power up, no! You know, gospel jaw where the jaw is moving like crazy. We want the least amount of movement in the jaw as possible with the maximum amount of space in the back of the throat. And we want to make minor adjustments, very little adjustments back and forth in the vocal tract to shape the vowels just to give enough to where we understand the words and the consonants without closing down the back of the throat and messing with open throat. Okay? Let's continue.